I'm going to show you how you can add a computer or a server to an Active Directory domain using PowerShell. In this example, I'm using Windows Server, but this works fine on Windows 10 and 11 as well. So to start, we need to open up PowerShell and then run it as an administrator. And then within PowerShell, we can run a couple of commands. The first thing we want to do is just ping our local Active Directory domain and just make sure that it resolves. It may not reply if you've got ICMP disabled, but it should still resolve. So once we've done that, we can then check the host name of the computer or the server by running hostname. And then we can see that we've got our default host name. So if we want to change that, we can just do rename dash computer and then dash new name. And then the name that we want to give it, in this case, server 2022, and then press enter. And then that will tell us it will apply after a restart. Now what we need to do is add the computer to the domain. So we can do add dash computer and then dash domain name and then the name of our Active Directory domain and then we can do dash restart. Once we press enter, it will pop up a credential window and then we can enter the credentials for our local Active Directory domain and then press OK. That will then go through and it will add the computer to the domain and then automatically restart it. And then once it's restarted, we can see that is now allowing us to sign into our domain. So if we just enter a user account and then a password, it will then log us into the domain. And we've confirmed that our computer is now added to our domain correctly and we can log in. So that's how you can use PowerShell to add a computer or a server to an Active Directory domain.